people are anxious. And the revolutionaries and the common folk both want him dead. The family just wants him in prison. Oh, what's in it? Or Papa? Oh, hey, that's nice in the last one. That's made me happy. Oh wow, we're getting more things here now. And what's this? Oh, that's uh, what happened the night before, isn't it? Anything new here? No? What are we trying to find out? Nothing there. Okay. So we've got two case files here. My lord, my lord, should any reason appear, shoot the rebels without hesitation, just as his majesty ordered. Have no mercy, they shall have none either. Wow. That's deep. That's deep, dude. Oh shh! <laughs> You're accused of a lot of things here. Counter-revolution, treason, fraud, advocating monarchy and neglect of duty. If you're found guilty of all this, that is surely an execution. Compatriots. Citizen Capet, previously known as King Louis of France, must be punished for conspiring against the people of France. Holy shit, so this is the king. Holy shit. <laughs> Louis Capet tried to defend his absolute authority by plotting against the National Constituent Assembly and the people of France. We all remember July of 1789. He gathered an army, 15 foreign regiments and ordered them to surround Paris. Soldiers led by Baron and Chevelle were to capture deputies and shoot at citizens defending the reforms. And so they did. The Royal German Regiment drew first blood. After the plot failed, Louis Capet tried to flee the country with his family and scheme with foreign monarchs abroad. Is that not the reason he took flight from the Tuileries one night in June of 1791 using someone else's passport? Was he not heading to Montmédy where his low armies were stationed, ready to take him to Austria? If it were not for Postmaster Doré, his scheme could have ended tragically for us. Louis Capet will never abandon the thought of suppressing the revolution by force. Before the events of 1792, he gave order for the Swiss conversation in Tuileries to be dulled. He conducted a public muster in front of horrified citizens. The people had no choice, they hadn't acted before Capet attacked citizens of Paris. He tried to stop the manners of the ship, and even Capet escaped to the National Assembly. Evidence and order issued by Marshal de Beaujire. Baron. something. Okay, there's a lot to take in here. A lot of information. Ten questions. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, the shooting of civilians. Let's look that up. In autumn, surround Paris. That's uh, an accusation? Surrounding the city, Paris. That was method. Going on pause. That was another method. Hmm. 
Hmm. What about his authority? Was tried to defend his absolute authority by plotting against. But defending his authority was motive. Doubling the size of his god. Did you do that? Hmm. And an army. 15. Oh, well, hell. He tried to. Do we have evidence of that? Or. He doubled. But he did do that doubling of the god. And this is an accusation. I'm gonna roll here. Um, what what about the passport? What about the passport? That no reason to apply from two years one night. Getting someone else's passport. Okay, take passport. Was. Method and Postmaster Dure is a witness. Yes, Postmaster Dure is a witness. So this pressing revolution has to be the motive and the accusation. I am a genius. I won't let it go to my head. It's okay. It's already gone to my head. Let's do this. Answer the questions when asked. Capet is the name of one of my ancestors. My name is Louis Auguste de Brabon. That may have been your name before you raised your hand against the people you had sworn to defend. The king? I have never done a thing against my people. I love them and I still do. Objection! There is evidence of Louis Capet's treason against the people of France. He should be tried as a foreigner and enemy, not a citizen of the Republic. Just once angered, the people may even start to write, oh shit. Hey, okay, well at the moment they're anxious. in Paris and re-establish an absolute monarchy. And why did you raise a number of troops? That's what it sounds like to me. So who gave the order? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Call in a witness. Introduce yourself. Jean Dorette, first master of Saint Menehol, Monsieur Le Monsieur Le Jules. Ooh. 
Ooh. Ooh. Shady. Very shady, la capette. That's leading. Ooh, very suspicious. Exactly. Oh, so you're blaming on ministers? That is Baron. You've been set well. Hmm. So who issued the fire? Baron Bishenbal is getting suspicious. <laughs> Your crown is worthless here. are in danger of fault laying with you. Isn't it the first time you send your troops to fight citizens? Gentlemen, I look in vain for a judge here. I am all brown you see accusers before me. People are getting aggressive. I need to wrap this up quick.
is the Baron. I don't trust this Tinville guy. All this hearsay. Do you love your country? So a riot is going to break out. I need to end this now. But it looks like. Ooh! Can't do that. The best we can hope for is prison. Because <laughs> I'm not dying. Okay. The building is enraged. There may soon be a massacre. Oh shit, is there more evidence? People! What vexes you? Why are you so angry? The king lied to us! That coward ran from us! He'll surely run from justice as well! We found proof of the king's treachery in his secret iron cabinet! I don't quite understand this. Who's my enemy? Withdrawn, withdrawn, withdrawn. No just... one can flee from the justice of the Republic. Even kings must bow before the will of Tamis and the will of the people. Mm -hmm. Any treachery committed against France will be punished with death. We shall examine new evidence, and if the rumors turn out to be true, I assure you that I shall behead this traitor myself. Justice must return to our country and stay here for good. No one is more concerned about this matter than a judge of the tribunal. Well, I tried. Attack!